25 years ago today, the Ted on Your Side news team brought you the story of Hurricane Floyd and how it changed Franklin forever. Regina Mobley takes us back, and Regina, this story was actually unknown for what, several hours? It was a question of technology, Tom. 25 years ago today, most in Hampton Roads thought the worst was over when Floyd hit and then quickly exited the region. Little did we know that Franklin was flooded. From the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. Good evening from Myrtle Beach. I'm Andy Fox, 10th floor, the Breakers Hotel. Up and down the Atlantic coast, reporters braved the elements to document a storm that was perilously close to a Category 5. Floyd roared ashore as a Category 2 hurricane, a far cry from the Cat 5 just days earlier. The surf has really picked up. The Sandbridge section of Virginia Beach, as well as parts of the Outer Banks, were evacuated as the typical spots were experiencing up to 20 inches of flooding. While all eyes were on the Atlantic, little attention was on the Blackwater River in Franklin. We didn't hear much about Franklin. Uh, we didn't hear a great deal about Franklin at all because of the fact that communications were dead. It wasn't until Andy Fox, by phone, alerted the public that Franklin was underwater. It's terrible. This is Andy's look back on the 20th anniversary. 20 years ago, then Franklin Mayor Jim Council took us on a boat ride that left us stunned. This is our telephone company, GTE, and we've lost all telephone communication throughout the city. Want to know how high the water is? That's Main Street right there. The Blackwater River breached its banks by 22 feet. It's the worst disaster that I've ever seen here. Nothing like it. Floyd claimed 57 lives in eight states and the Bahamas. In Franklin, gauges were installed along the Blackwater River and City Hall has since offered incentives to bring businesses back to downtown. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.